Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today this video is going to be a little different than my usual videos because you cannot actually see my face. But anyways, as I woke up this morning, I was sleeping peacefully and when I opened my Twitter, I found that there was a new trailer released and I watched it and I couldn't believe what I saw for the next two hours. But anyways, so we have a brand new trailer for The Last Day Part 1 and 2 for the finale of season 5. Before we start, please make sure not to leave any comments about leaks. I know a lot of you have seen them, but I have not and I would like to keep it that way. Anyways, let's get into this trailer analysis. The trailer starts out with Gabriel talking to Emily and he says that he only has a few hours left to live and that this plan will be his final chance to revive her. I don't know about you, but whenever Gabe starts talking to Emily, I feel like that's when you know the episode is about to get really dark. Also, the sheer amount of times he calls Emily my love is really insane, and I would like him to please stop. Please pick a different term of endearment, Gabriel. We also see a bunch of shots of different classmates. Some of them seem to be from earlier episodes, and some of them are new. And one of them specifically I took notice to because it's of Luca in a new outfit. The outfit looks very similar to Suhan's guardian outfit, so maybe Suhan runs into him after hopping all the way to Tibet. But this does scare me because I know it has to be serious for Luca to be back from wherever he was before. Also, we see Alex in the beginning with all of the shots of the classmates, and we also see her in one of the end cards with Jess and Faye, so that makes me more nervous. However, I don't think Luca, Alex, Jess, and Faye will have a very big role in the finale because they aren't really in any other parts of the trailer, so I think they just added this part in to make it a little bit more interesting. And I think maybe, I'm not actually sure if Faye and Jess are actually in Paris, I think maybe they just fight Gabriel's like worldwide plan from Shanghai and... New York, or just other parts of the world. Then we see Marinette in a ladybug-themed night costume, and she's attempting to rescue Adrian, who is strapped to a spiky beanstalk. This kind of reminded me of Where Dad, but I'm pretty sure this is just a dream, because right after this we see a very, very scared Marinette wake up and scream Adrian's name. I feel so bad for her. This is a petition to stop all the nightmares in this series. Like, can we just have some nice, comforting little dreams about hamsters, please? However, I'm kind of excited to find out what happens at the end of this dream. We see Alia hold her head and struggle against something, but I'm assuming she's fighting off the power of the Alliance Rings and trying not to become one of, like, those weird puppets. But we see her later in the trailer, so I guess maybe she fights off becoming a puppet or somebody takes off her alliance ring so she is no longer a puppet. Anyways, Adrian has another nightmare about the fake Cat Blanc and wakes up in his weird little prison thing. But we see one of the Sarugi robots deliver an alliance ring to him. I'm pretty nervous about this. Is Gabe planning to also turn him into a puppet or is it for another mission related to Operation Perfect Alliance? We see Gabriel calling to Mo while looking at the security cameras of Kagami and Adrian's prison cells. It's so unbelievably cruel that they can imprison their own children and not even give them blankets. Like, if you don't want them to escape, at least let them be comfortable. Another shot shows us that Ladybug is planning to sneak into what I assume is the Aggressed Mansion by hiding in a trash can? Anyways, she gets in and appears to be in Natalie's room where she finds the picture of Emily, Gabriel, and Natalie on one of their adventures. I'm not sure if she opens the safe that's behind this picture, but seconds later we see her act very shocked, so I'm assuming that she finds out about something. Next, we see Gabriel evil laughing over Natalie, and she appears to also give in to one of his powers. I'm not sure if she becomes a puppet, but I assume Gabriel takes control of her in some way. Then we see a clip of the resistance on the Cofane houseboat. I'm, I'm not actually sure where this is, but it kind of reminds me of the houseboat. And since we know that Luca is back, maybe he meets them on the houseboat or something. And they seem to be formulating a plan because of Ladybug and Cat Noir's current absence. Then, 
A bunch of scenes show us civilians turning into the weird alliance puppets and using the essence of the horse miraculous to teleport all around Paris and maybe even the world. I don't really know how people are transforming into these puppets. I don't know if it's like Akuma essence in like their alliance rings. Like I'm not sure because it's because there's like purple smoke around them like they're being akumatized but there's so many of them so I'm not entirely sure about that. Okay, this is the part that makes me even more nervous, but the Agrest mansion closes its, like, vent thingies that we saw in Gabriel Agrest, and then Ladybug is trapped inside, so I'm assuming that it will be up to the Resistance to stop these puppets, because Cat Noir and Ladybug are both trapped in their very own way. We see the puppets surround Ladybug, but she escapes and runs out of Natalie's room. Then we are in Gabriel's little murder basement, where we see a red, black, and green superhero absolutely devouring Monarch. I am very sure that the superhero is none other than Marinette with the fused ladybug and black cat miraculouses, but eventually we see her being thrown by Gabe and almost passing out on the floor. I'm not sure how this happens because she's currently transformed and you're kind of supposed to be like invincible when you're transformed, but I think she might be getting weaker from using both miraculouses or she could have transformed back at this point. Nadia Shamak is reporting on Kagami and Adrian, but she looks very scared, and I assume that she's being forced to say things by the puppet with headphones behind the camera. Maybe people have begun to wonder where Kagami and Adrian are after, you know, they were imprisoned by their own parents. Next, we see a dragon, which is really out of place, and I don't think the, the clips in this trailer are, like, in order. I think they just put a bunch of them together, but I kind of assume that the dragon was also from the dream from before. Maybe the dragon represents Gabriel, Marinette represents the knight, and Adrian represents the princess, kind of like the story we heard in the episode Gabriel Agrest. Then we see Plague racing across a body of water. I'm assuming to give Marinette his miraculous, as he knows that Adrian is trapped in the room, and we also see Marinette with both the ladybug and the cat miraculouses. Another scene shows us that Natalie is holding an object which I think might be a crossbow? She had one similar in Safari, and I'm excited for Natalie to maybe play a larger role in this episode, whether, you know, it's her dead or alive, but, you know, it's okay. Honestly, please, like, shoot Gabe. Natalie, I would be very happy if you did. Um, <laughs> then we see a very, very shocked ladybug, and I think maybe she might have seen Emily in the basement. I mean, she is as shocked as she was in representation, so she must have seen something crazy. So then we see Lila, who has given herself another disguise, which I don't even want to comment on because what is that? And then we see an unresponsive Natalie being carried by Gabriel, and I really, really hope she's not dead and just sleeping peacefully, like, just, oh, silly Natalie, just, just fell asleep on, like, just, just fell asleep on the floor, you know, let's just bring you right back to bed because you're okay and totally not dead, thank you. Finally, we see Gabriel, and if you look really closely, Marinette, you see Marinette, untransformed so i think he finds out her identity and he's raising his arms up and using magic to make the wish i really kind of don't want this wish to happen um if this wish happens i'm going to be kind of upset honestly but seeing the title recreation and these spoilers i kind of think that might be the direction of this episode so i don't even know what to say about that but also, Lila seems to be watching all of this through her phone, so I think it's pretty certain that she will become the next villain. Anyways, guys, that was a pretty crazy trailer. I may or may not also do a review of the reverse trailer that we got, like, literally maybe four hours after this trailer. Like, I was processing this trailer, and then we got the reverse trailer, so I may or may not do a video on that also, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment down below your theories for recreation and confirmation. Just make sure to keep it spoiler and leak-free if you've already seen it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a miraculous day, and I hope that we are all okay by the finale, and I hope that Natalie is okay, because if Natalie's not okay, then I'm not okay. And anyways, bye guys!